How is your language your experience? I want to share with you what I mean by that. The experience that we have in life is created through the interpretation of the external reality that we're in. So we're in an external reality. So we're all, for example, if you were, you're here right now, if you're inside this room, we'd all be inside this room. You're inside whatever room or you're outside, you're in the external reality. But your experience of that external reality is defined by the language that you use to describe it. And there's three ways to describe things. You can describe things worse than they are. You can describe things less than they are. But you can do your best to describe things as accurately as you possibly can as they are. Not worse, not less than, but as they are. Life and functionality and having a calm life that we love is all about learning how to language our interpretation of the world as it is. Not worse than it is, not less than it is, but as it is. I want to share with you exactly how we can do that and how coaching is a wonderful tool to be able to help us do that. So the most common thing that people do is they catastrophize. So they use language that is inappropriate. It has what's called the wrong poundage, which means it just doesn't fit the actual reality. And as a result of that, you experience not the reality that we are in, but you experience the one that you're describing. So for example, a um, good friend of mine, Fred, was telling me about this story. Fred is a really great friend of mine. He's known me for quite some time. And he has actually been trained in coaching for I think nearly or about as long as I've been alive. And he was in a car park Christmas Eve. You can imagine how busy things are in a car park Christmas Eve. And so he's going to the shop. And he drives past a car, car reverses out and hits him. Now, Fred thinks, okay, well, it's just a little bit of a hit. I'm gonna take care of things, I've got insurance, I'm gonna be fine. Fred's reality and his language is as it is. Is it a problem? Sure. Do you have insurance? Yes. I'm gonna sort it out. Done. The man that got out of the car had what I would call an exaggerated reality. He catastrophized things with his language. Now, as a result of languaging that, that also becomes his experience. So what you language is what you have. The man gets out of the car and he says, Christmas is ruined. That's quite an exaggeration. Now, Fred helps him with a new reality simply through inviting him to change his language. And he said, well, first of all, Christmas isn't ruined. Christmas hasn't even begun yet. It's the night before Christmas. He said, do you have insurance? He said, yes, I have insurance. He said, look, this is unfortunate, but how about we both take care of this? We'll be on our way and you go enjoy Christmas because Christmas hasn't even begun yet. The man's emotional state went from like a 10 out of 10 and started to calm back down as he saw the way things actually are, not worse than they are. Now maybe you know someone in your life who's always catastrophizing, they always make something worse. You know, for example, they wanna go out for dinner and the shop's closed, ah, it's all over and this always happens. They are creating that reality through dramatizing what is and making it worse than it is. As a result of that, they live in the drama reality. Now there's another version of this, which is what's called minimizing. And that's where we take something that actually is a problem and we minimize it and we make it less than it is. This can sometimes also be a challenge because sometimes something actually is a problem and we need to see it as it is. Say for example, you've got a parent and that parent has a child and the child is being bullied at school. Now I would say that is quite an emotionally significant event. Being bullied at any age is a real challenge and especially for a kid. Now, if the adult makes light of it and they minimize it and they say, oh, it's just kids, you'll be totally fine. That's a way of really not respecting the emotional significance and seeing it the way it is. So instead, you'd wanna connect with that child and say, this is a really big deal. I'm really sorry about this. I imagine you feel so sad, you feel so angry. Let's talk about it. That's responding as it is. It's not making it worse and it's not minimizing or reducing it. Now the key to living a functional life is learning how to language things as they are, not worse than, not less than, but as they are. Now if you've loved the sound of this and if you're resonating with it, what I'd love to invite you to do is go ahead and click the link below. You'll head over to another page where I'd love to invite you to attend a live two-day event. It is called your Coaching Success Online Summit and it's all about how you can become a successful coach and use these tools for yourself and for other people. Go ahead and click the link below. I hope to see you on the other side.